everybody, this is Bryce with Timberframe HQ. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to weave the corners of cedar shingles to create a really interesting and uh, incredible detail. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and establish our level line across. And what I'm using is a six inch uh, course. So um, I've gone, gone ahead and done that. And so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and put up our first shingle. And then we want to mark approximately where we, we, we need to cut it off to get it to plane out with that other shingle. And then what I do is I take my razor knife and I just kind of rough it out. And I want to leave about a quarter of an inch and then finish it up with my block plane. Now I grew up with shingles in, in New England as a, as a teenager in Massachusetts and fell in love with them then. And, and really when I decided to build my own home, um, it was a natural choice, especially as a do-it-yourselfer, because they're so, they're so light. So once you've done that and gotten that all roughed out, go ahead and put that shingle up. And you're going to want to put, of course, your two, two, and then I put one, one nail up there. And then that way, when I'm playing in it, it, uh, whoops, got caught on the hose. That way, when I'm planing it out, it uh, it doesn't move up there. Of course, a nice sharp plane makes fast work of this. And I do like to leave it a little bit proud of this other one, and maybe angled that way just a little bit, so that when I put that next shingle up, it's a nice tight fit. So as you get close to the end, start going slow. And if you notice, my plane is skewed. If I were to go like that, I'm not going to get any wood because that's starting to be a curved surface. When you grab your next shingle and you do the exact same thing to the other side. Now it does hang out to lap it and what you want to do is alternate it so that the nails end up on opposite sides. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so once again we're just going to rough that out with the razor knife. Oh, I did pretty good on that one. Okay. Once you got that, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to put it up there. And I like to leave it a little proud so that I can plane it down all the way to the corner. Almost time for a ladder. And as, of course, once you get down to the end, just want to make sure you go really slow and smooth. And remember, after you put that nail in, which goes right here at the corner, as you see right there, to kind of hold those two shingles together. So I'm just going to drill the hole. Grab the nail, and then nail that home. What I like to do is grab the shingle really tight right back there so it doesn't push. That's what it's wanting to do. Okay. And then I just need to go touch that up there. That 
There we go. So that's it. That's how you join the corners, uh, weaving them together back and forth. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information on timber framing or siding, come check us out at timberframehq.com. Take care. Thanks for watching.